welcome to day nine of the November Grand Sumo Tournament. We are at the Fukuoka International Center, and Ichinojo is one of three rank and file men currently tied for second place at seven and one. Here's the full leaderboard. Hakuho all alone in first place, the only undefeated man in the top division. Trailing the Yokozuna are Ichinojo, Arawashi, and Okinomi. Another packed house at the Koksai Center. We begin with Okinomi and Kotoyuki. Okinomi having a fine first week. He's currently tied with two others for second place in the Yusho race. Kotoyuki, not the top division return he had in mind with a 3 and 5 record. A little tsupari from both men. Kotoyuki trying to force back Okinomi. Instead, he pulls down Okinomi. It's a hand pull down Hikiyotoshi. Okinomi falls to his second loss. Here's the replay. Both men going back and forth with the tsupari, and then it's Kotoyuki who grabs onto the arm of Okinomi. Up next are Amanishiki and Daesho. Thirty-nine-year-old Amanishiki for him. Two more wins, and he'll have his first winning tournament in the top division in two years. Daesho is 15 years younger than Amanishiki. <laughs> Pretty good hit by Daesho, the youngster, surging forward. Amanishiki doesn't have an answer. Daesho all over Amanishiki, and he wins by Oshidashi pushout. Amanishiki falls to six and three. Youth prevails over experience. Amanishiki still with a fine first week. Here's the replay. Daesho just a bit quicker and with a bit more strength than the 39-year-old Amanishiki. Kaisei and Shodai are up next. Shodai can't wait for 2017 to end with only one winning Basho this year. Kaisei from Brazil but received Japanese citizenship three years ago. Not a real hard tachi eye there. Shodai with an inside grip. Kaisei with the right hand outside. He uses that to force back Shodai briefly. Kaisei trying to now throw down Shodai. Shodai hanging on, though, with the left hand inside grip. They're back to the center of the dojo. Who's going to launch an attack? Kaisei or Shodai? It's Kaisei who moves forward and cuts off the ring. Kaisei winning by Yori Kiri force out. Kaisei improving to six and three.
A pretty long match here. The average sumo match lasts about six seconds. Back and forth they went. Then they have a stalemate at the center of the dohyo. And finally, it's Kaise who prevails. Here are Endo and Tochinoshin. Endo not just looking good, but fighting well right now. Five and three record. Tochinoshin with the same record. Little by little, he's getting his ring sense back. Going for an inside position is Endo, but he's getting moved back. Tochinoshin grabbing onto the arm of Endo, but Endo seizes the advantage, and the momentum changes. Endo winning by Yorikiri force out. He adds to his win total and is now at six and three. Another fine battle here by Endo. He uses the Otsuke briefly to block the arms of Tochinoshin. And although he gets moved back, he does have a strong inside position. And he uses that to force out Tochinoshin. Daishomaru and Ichinojo on the dohyo now. As we showed you at the start of this program, Ichinojo tied for second place. Daishomaru struggling at the moment with a two and six mark. Daishomaru much lighter than Ichinojo, but he is the aggressor. Has Ichinojo at the edge, and Ichinojo just gives up at the edge. An Oshidashi push out by Daishomaru. Disappointing effort by Ichinojo today. Ichinojo falls to seven and two. Daishomaru coming in low with a more focused attack. He shoves Ichinojo to the edge and then shoves him over the Tawada. Here are Chiyoshoma and Hokuto Fuji. Okuto Fuji's right knee is sore, but he has a nice 6 and 2 record. Chiyoshoma, up and down tournament for him at 4 and 4. Okuto Fuji stomps his feet and off he goes. And out goes Chiyoshoma. Quickly done by Hokuto Fuji and Oshidashi push out. Now a fine seven and two record for Hokuto Fuji. They crash heads. And you see the power in Hokuto Fuji's pushing attack. Arawashi and Tochi Ozan up now. Arawashi enjoying his best first week ever in this his 16th top division tourney. Tochi Ozan embarrassed by being the only winless Dixie in Makuno Uchi. They come out from the crouch. Tochi Ozan surges forward and looks like he has the victory. 
It was close at the edge. So the judges want to talk this one over. The referee pointed his goombai to Tochi Ozan. Here's the replay. Was it Atawashi's foot or Tochi Ozan's knee that landed first? Hard to say. Fujishima Oikata says, let's do it again. Tori Naoshi, a rematch. So here they go a second time. Arawashi and Tochi Ozan. Pretty strong start by Tochi Ozan. He has both arms inside on Arawashi. Arawashi has Tochi Ozan at the edge and suddenly the veteran Tochi Ozan comes up with a nice katasukashi under shoulder swing down. So he finally picks up his first win in Kyushu. Tochi Ozan immediately gets the Morozashi, both arms inside on Arawashi. But it's Arawashi who clamps onto the elbows of Tochi Ozan and moves him back. Look like Arawashi would win this match. But then Tochi Ozan turns the tables right here. Chiyo Taidu and Sho Hozan up next. Sho Hozan has received loud cheers every day in his hometown, but it hasn't helped his sumo. He's three and five. Chiyo Taidu just turned 29 years old last week. I mean, quickly is Sho Hozan, but bounces right off Chiyo Taidu. Chiyo Taidu, known as an Oshizumo, pusher thruster, but he is capable of fighting in the grappling style, grabbing the Mawashi of his opponent. Chiyo Taidu surges forward and drops Sho Hozan. Good job by Chiyo Taidu, winning by Yorikiri force out. He improves to four and five. <laughs> Chiyo Taidu shows you he's not a one-dimensional Rikshi. Normally he goes with the Oshizumo attack, but uh, today... It's Yotsuzumo. He fights on the Moashi, gets a left hand inside grip, and uses that plus his larger frame to force out Sho Hozan. Chiyo Taidu much heavier than Sho Hozan, and it shows right here. The next two fighters are Takakesho and Ono Sho. These two have known each other since elementary school and began wrestling in organized tournaments in junior high school. It's their second meeting in professional sumo. They never met in the lower divisions. Big hit from the two 21 year olds, and it's Ono Sho who slaps down Takakeisho. That's a hatakikomi in Japanese. So the battle of young rivals goes to Ono Sho this time. The first time they met, Takakeisho was the winner, so Ono Sho evens their record. One win apiece. Both men kind of short, so they come in low. A little tsupari, and it's Ono Sho who uses the slap down. 
Koto Shogiku and Tamawashi on the dohyo now. Tamawashi has already beaten a Yokozuna and Ozeki in both Sekiwake. Koto Shogiku, this is not the Sanyaku return the 33-year-old had in mind. Only two wins. Pretty good hit by Tamawashi, but he's getting moved back. Koto Shogiku, can he stay on his feet? Looks like he did. But the... Referee points his goombai to Tamawashi. We'll have to look at the replay. The judges aren't moving, so it's a win for Tamawashi by Kote Nage. Arm lock throw. Looked like Koto Shogiku had pushed out Tamawashi, but let's look at the replay. Was it the knee of Koto Shogiku that touched down first before Tamawashi went out of the ring? It sure was. Here's Mitake Ubi and Takayasu. Two Rikshi who share a similar heritage as both their moms are Filipino. And they share the same record, five and three right now. Mitake Ubi, despite a sore big toe on his left foot, he has done well. Quick and hard at the Tachiai. Takayasu surging forward. An intense battle, and it's Takayasu who prevails. Hataki Komi slap down. That was an intense bout from the Sekiwake and Ozeki. And it's the Ozeki who wins. Takayasu up to six and three. Both men coming up quick and with a powerful pushing attack. Goedo and Yoshikaze up next. Despite Goedo being higher in rank, Sek uh, Sekiwake Yoshikaze has the advantage head to head. He's won 11 times, Goedo's won 10 times. Hitting and moving back is Yoshikaze. Surges forward, Goedo at the edge. And looked like he would land outside the ring, but he's able to maintain his balance and use a rear push out, Okuri Dashi, to stun Yoshikaze. That was an interesting match. Just when Goedo looked like he would lose again to Yoshikaze, he's able to regain his balance and push Yoshikaze from the rear. Here's another look. Yoshikaze right here moves forward. And look at Goedo right on the edge. But he stays in the ring and finds a way to win. Now up the sole leader, the king of the ring, Hakuho, against Maigashira 4, Chiyonokuni. Hakuho has not won the Yusho here in Kyushu, though, since 2014. Chiyonokuni does have one upset of a Yokozuna that was beating Kakuryu in May. A little slap by Hakuho, and then a pull down. Uwate Dashinage, that's a pulling over arm throw. That match was over in about three seconds. Hakuho remains undefeated and the sole leader. A slap with the left hand, and then a grip with the left hand, and it's all over. Here's another look. Total domination from the greatest of grand champions.
While one Yokozuna is invincible, the other Yokozuna competing is in big trouble. Kisin Osato, with that injured upper body, has dropped his last two matches and has shown no offense. He's up against Takada Fuji, who's beaten Kisin Osato once before, way back in September 2014. But this is a golden opportunity for Takada Fuji to pick up a Kimboshi. A hit by Takada Fuji. Kisino Sato trying for a left hand grip, but is unable to hold on to the Mawashi of Takada Fuji. Trying to move forward is Kisino Sato. Takada Fuji at the edge. He circles around Kisino Sato. Kisino Sato looks a bit tired. Now it looks like the momentum is shifting. Takada Fuji has a strong left hand inside grip. What can the Yokozuna do? He's at four and four and needs a win. He gets Takada Fuji to the edge. They separate and Kisino Sato loses his balance. He loses for the third straight day and is now four and five. A shitate nage underarm throw by Takada Fuji. So big problems for big Kisino Sato. Takara Fuji picks up his third career Kimboshi. That only goes to a rank and file Maigashida who beats a Yokozuna. Back and forth they went. At first it looked like Kisino Sato would have no trouble winning. He gets a left hand grip. That's his favorite position. But he loses the grip. And then he seems to lose stamina. They separate right here and it's Kisino Sato, who can't stay on his feet. Well, Hakuho now two steps ahead of everyone else in the championship race as he closes in on an incredible 40th career Yusho. Thank you for watching Grand Sumo Highlights.